at that. Oh, you can't see anything because it's all steamed up. That was really good. amazing chest and back workout things just felt really good as much as I kind of want to split up my chest and back so that I can do more for each muscle group I'm really enjoying working the opposing muscles like that you know the opposite muscle working the chest with the back so that I get stretches both ways it's just really feeling good it's getting things stretched out my shoulder again feels better today Man, after the rough week that I had last week with just a couple workouts that weren't that good, this has been a great way to start off the new week. I just wanted to state that uh, I started taking creatine yesterday. So I started that, I added that to my workout. I did just one scoop pre-workout yesterday and today I did one scoop, I think it's like five grams uh, pre-workout and then one scoop in my intra-workout drink. Today, before I make my actual meal that I'm gonna eat, I need to cook up something in advance that I've been putting off. I got these chicken wing portions, so I wanna cook these and get these prepared, maybe to eat some tonight. And I really don't have a set recipe I'm gonna follow, so I'm just gonna wing it. Huh, get it? Wing it. All right, anyways, bad joke. I'm gonna call these keto wings, chicken wing portions, butter, bacon ranch, butter, white and regular, almond milk, coconut milk. I'm going to cook these in my pressure cooker. So that's the plan. So we got our wings in there. We got about 800 grams worth of wings. There's 19 wings. That's gonna be our serving size is 19. Two cups of almond milk. In there. Now I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna take my organic coconut milk and I'm gonna do two cups of that. And the reason I'm not using like measuring cups and stuff like that is just because I'm using my food scale because it's more accurate. So that's what I'm using. Feel free to use measuring cups, whatever you wanna use. Eight tablespoons of Kerrygold pure Irish butter, salted. There we go. Next ingredient is gonna be our bacon ranch. And I'm gonna do 20 tablespoons of bacon ranch. 
always go slow. You can always add more ingredient. You can't really take it out. So go slow. Final ingredient before we add the spices, I'm gonna do 100 grams of the orange cheddar, mild cheddar, and 100 grams of the white cheddar cheese. So now I'm just gonna add my spices. You probably already know what I'm gonna use, but I'm gonna use my cinnamon, some cream of tartar, Italian seasoning, pink Himalayan sea salt, Mrs. Dash table blend, fresh black pepper, ground ginger, some garlic, onion powder. I'm gonna throw in just a little splash of apple cider vinegar. Just a little bit of lemon juice too. When it comes to the spices and things, I'm not really measuring, I'm just kind of going by what I think. So everything else is precise. The spices and stuff is just kind of my own feel. Get out my spoon and stir this. There you go, there's what it looks like. Look at that. Just get this all stirred up nicely. Okay, time to cook this. So we got our pressure cooker over here. This, I'm just gonna go ahead and use our meat and chicken setting. So that's gonna be 12 minutes. So there you go. In 12 minutes, the wings will be done. And let me give you the macros for our keto wings. Per wing, you're gonna have 256 calories. Of that, you're gonna have 23 grams of fat, one carb, and 11 protein. So, they're definitely gonna be some fat wings. Look at that, ooh, you can't see anything because it's all steamed up. But, they're in there, cooked. It smells really good. Okay, so it is time to give these keto wings a try. The first thing I'm realizing is that you know because of the amount of liquid that I added it's more of like a chicken soup most of the fat content is in the broth is in the liquid if I was gonna do this again I would probably add in some regular chicken to some lower fat chicken so that there'd be chicken mixed throughout Still looks pretty good like I said it's just there's so much fat in the broth that you know you really only get about two wings and then the rest is is the broth. I'm gonna go ahead and give it a try. This is the first taste test, the initial taste test of it. And so, we'll see how it tastes. It's pretty good. I'm gonna grab one of the actual wings. It's just falling apart, so it's hard to even hold, but there's one of the wings. So I'm gonna try this. It's good chicken, it's got good flavor, but again, most of the flavor, most of everything, it's kind of in the broth. So what I'd probably do, you know, at the end, I would just break up the chicken wings after they're cooked so that the meat is just in the broth and then have it more like a soup if I was gonna do it this style. Probably need to play around with the ingredients to get something that would coat the wings, you know? So I, if I was gonna do it again, I'd probably put less liquids in there so that it would become more thick and more like a paste and that it would just coat the wings when they come out. Overall, I mean, not bad. The flavor is going to be good. It's going to be like having chicken soup, really high fat chicken soup. So I'm not going to complain about that. I don't know if this is the best recipe. If you want to give it a try, maybe if you have a way to make it better. This is my first time cooking wings in a pressure cooker, so that alone was just a trial yeah that's it um this is probably gonna be the end of the video i'm gonna wrap this up the right way tonight so thank you so much for watching i really appreciate it i hope you're just being inspired and encouraged and motivated by these videos and by my channel to just pursue your passions pursue your dreams and and live your life for so much more than just those temporary things because that is the eternal crown lifestyle. So please give this video a thumbs up, comment below, let me know what you think about this recipe, what ideas you have for it. Have a great 
day, afternoon, or evening, depending on when you watch this.